Booyah! You're here with Channel Collectric, and today I'm gonna get to showcase a game that I'm extremely excited about. And the funny thing about it is that it's not actually a new game at all. Um, this game is something that came out a long time ago. It receives a lot of flack for no reason. Well, personally, I believe, because it has a lot of fundamental uh, gameplay mechanics and aspects that I absolutely love about it. And so I'm going to showcase it to you here today. This is more the uh, type of content that I want to actually express on this channel. You know, going over gameplay mechanics, uh, doing gameplay analysis, um, and just, you know, getting into the root of what a lot of these games are, what they're about, and the reasons why we like them so much. Alright, well, let me go ahead and get this fired up for you guys. Here we go, we're on the uh, Mystic Quest, this is just me booting it up. Alright, <laughs> give me just a sec, I'm gonna change the sound on that because it's a bit loud. There we go, that's a little bit more manageable. No problem. That intro is so nostalgic to me. It's it's absolutely beautiful. And I forgot to start my timer. <laughs> okay, so we're here at the uh, input screen. I'm just gonna name myself super generic. Just playing with this mouse and keyboard. Here we go. This is the the startup. My village is gone. What on earth is going on? This place is going to sink any second. Let's climb up quick. So I just follow this dude. Boom. We're already introduced to one of the main mechanics of the game. Jumping. Something as simple as that. Honestly, you'll, you'll see it more throughout the game, but it's perfect. I absolutely love it. Look over there, that's the focus tower, once the heart of the world. An old prophecy says, the vile four will steal the power and divide the world behind four doors. At that time, the night will appear. The prophecy has now come true. Four monsters have locked the doors of the focus tower and escaped with the keys. They're draining the light from the four crystals of the earth and the world is in chaos. The people are in desperate need of help. Kyle, only you can save the crystals and the world. Me? Yes, you, Kyle. Only you could be the knight spoken of in the prophecy. Oh, monster. <laughs> Look out, a monster! Alright, so this just shows us the basic combat. We're gonna do a simple little attack. Monster strikes. Ice strike. Super easy. Nothing to it. This is where the game loses a lot of points with, with people. Only because... This combat system, you know, a lot of people would say puts them to sleep. <laughs> I mean, yes, it's simplistic, but it gets the job done, and it it's uh, it gets a lot more intense later on. Seems I was right. At last, I found a true knight. But you said you were sure I was the one. <laughs> well, actually, it was more of a guess. <laughs> Forget it. Just tell me where I can find the crystals. It's up to you to find them. Say what? This place is becoming dangerous. Follow me to the level forest. The forest level. <laughs> and then once again, my guy shrugs. Who was that guy anyway? And then I leave. Never to see this place again. You know, simple plot point. Little plot device. And then we start here. At the level forest. Or the forest level. The first level in a lot of RPGs. So then we should see this guy. There you are. What do you think I should do first? Save the crystal of Earth. See you. <laughs> and once again. Love the little emotions. It adds so much. Alright, so here we go. You can kind of see the layout of the first level here. Beautiful, simple design. I can still do the jumping mechanic. It doesn't require me being anywhere near any ledges or nothing. 
We can also use the attack button or the uh, OK button to just, you know, swing my weapon around. That actually becomes essential, and you'll see that here soon. Um, just kind of showing you what it looks like, the little layout, how the monsters are set up. Those are those little icons on the screen there. Those are monsters dancing around. This guy, however, is not. That boulder is blocking my way back to town. Would you shove it aside? Now, can't walk through him, right? Now the jumping mechanic comes into play. Thank you. If you want to go through the forest, find Kaylee and Forresta, and show her this. Received tree weather. One of the many useless... Well, I say useless. It's a key item. You don't really get much use from it. Found three cure potions. Super easy to find chests in this game, and unlock whatever's inside. There's an exit. You can get out of the levels really easy. Now, this is also another aspect I like right here. You can just move left and right and it auto walks between levels. It makes it super simple, you don't have to do none of your dragging your feet throughout, you know, all these, you know, mountainous regions with snow like you do in like Skyrim or something. As much fun as that can be. We got a few oh, sorry, I didn't mean to stab you lady. The Crystal of Earth is in the is to the north, in the bone dungeon. Little NPCs they give you tips and, you know, tricks, they say things. Strange dream, uh, trees are growing in the level forest. And you can, you know, spend all day talking to them, jump over them if you want. Check this out. Another, uh, uh here we'll talk to this guy. I've turned into an old man! <laughs> I guess a side effect from uh, your whole town weathering. But yeah, you can see that aspect of jumping over things actually comes into play of exploring the town. I think it's cool. Oh, here, let me show you guys a quick secret. I didn't mean to actually go down. I thought I'd go to the bed. I was like, nah. I don't need it. And the game rewards you for exploring by doing little things like this. Ta-da! I found my first spell. Cure. Essential to any any RPG. A way to heal yourself. Um, here, let me pull up the menu for you. Um, if I can remember how to navigate it. See, there it is. Now, if you look on the screen here, it says three white, one black, zero wizard. That's not, like, race or anything. <laughs> it's actually my magic left, you'll see on the screen there. Um, so I have, this is, falls into the, uh, white spell category. Which is, you know, just normal, like, healing, restorative, magic, and everything. Um, it's, a uh, cure, sitting right there. And then, of course, you saw my potions in there and whatnot. I'm not going to spend time browsing through the menus and everything. If you want to check it out, you can. There's a little bit to play with, and then you can go in here. There's a little chest. Oh wait, that's not the one I want. It's over here. There we go. Restored to full health and everything. Which is somewhat crucial. Dying in this game, I mean, it's very forgiving if you die at the beginning of a battle. Um, it'll just start you over from the beginning of it. Here we go, Kaylee's house. I'm Kaylee. There's a tree blocking the north exit of the level forest. I can chop down the tree, but monsters have taken over the forest and I can't get to it. I can help you with that. Come on, let's go. And then there's her mom. Don't you dare take Kaylee anywhere dangerous. Typical mom. <laughs> Listen, mom. Hey, that tree with her looks awful. How much the trees must be suffering? Okay, you win. Simple dialogue, and it moves the plot right along, no problem. Don't worry, Mom. And then she just joins up with you. Her mom didn't say anything. Kaylee joins. I can go ahead and talk to her. My husband, Mac, forgot his captain cap. I hope nothing happens. We'll, uh, we'll end up meeting Captain Mac later. Good old captain. Nothing like the doctor, of course, but... Alright. So let me just pull up uh, something... Wait, no. I don't need to, actually. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> Navigating the menus on a keyboard is a little difficult. It's a bit tricky. Alright, so, um... That's not it. That's... Well, that's a save button. Could probably use that, I guess. There we go. I'm gonna set Kaylee to manual. Now you can have... Like, if you feel like you don't, you know, you're not comfortable controlling more than one character, you can set the, uh, your one companion to auto, and they'll do whatever they feel is best. Let me cut this with my axe. We've got to reach the north exit. Sorry, my voice acting is terrible. I haven't done a whole lot of it. 
<laughs> it's all goes on in my head, you know. Um, all right, so our first monster. You just walk right into him. Do 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 do. Got our basic combat music. This is how a lot of the battles are gonna go on from now on. So you can pick item, attack, spell, or just go on the defense. Just block for a turn. Not super effective. Uh, it's better to just attack and attack. So axe is uh, uh yeah. Kaylee is obviously stronger with her axe. I got my dinky little sword here. Ooh, critical. Ow. Ugh. And you kind of take a chance between um each time that the monsters attack like you know who they're gonna hit so let's see I've obviously taken some damage I'm gonna go ahead and heal with me and use Kaylee to attack because she's way stronger so here we go now I'm gonna take a hit <laughs> and uh sorry my girlfriend came into the room there see easy get your experience your gold and you move on with life now a lot of people they bash on the combat system and while I agree it could be a little more dynamic you only ever have one companion with you I do agree with the level design though the fact that there's no random encounters you can jump around walk all you want all day and you're not gonna run into anything what's cool about this is that you can set up the level practically however you want it to be and you know force the player to either solve puzzles that you set up or um, you know set up secrets items or dictate how much experience the uh, the player actually accumulates which we don't see a whole lot of just yet I haven't leveled I might win after this battle we'll see Defeated the enemy. Acquired 216 XP. Yep, there I go. Leveled up. And then, you don't... Oh, hold on. Wrong button again. You don't actually see anything really change. i show you the weapons, the armor. Whoops. Tricky. Okay. Status. Okay. So you see all the basic stats. We've got attack, defense, speed, magic. Um, speed dictates uh, how much... Um, initiative basically who attacks first um, which you know obviously Kaylee has more so she'll always hit first and she has a much higher attack by like five um, I don't know the exact formulas that go on in this game in particular but um, but it all works itself in uh, the monsters have similar stats they have a certain like uh, magic dictates how strong you are with spells uh, defense, how much damage you take, and then it shows your gold, your XP, how much until either of you level up. And yes, the NPC can level up, it's kind of nice. Go ahead and heal myself. We're both okay. Now, you can see our health down here at the bottom. Don't mean to talk so much, guys. I'm just going over all the mechanics. This is a pretty simplistic game. Um, you'll see these same concepts in a lot of other games. This is just broken down really nice. Um, my health is dictated by those little yellow bars there, same with Kaylee, and the red means that I've taken damage. I'm not too worried about my health level right now. Um, we're just gonna keep going. Let's have Kaylee take out one of the slimes first. Just in case I get a critical, it's possible I can- yep, there it goes. I've played this game a lot, guys. <laughs> I know how to operate it, I know what it does. I've quested this mystic quite many times. That sounds strange, but anyway. I don't remember everything about it. Um, let's see. Can't remember. I think... I'm gonna try something. No, okay, that's right. I was trying to remember how it played on the controller. Um, leveled up again, cool. You can't set yourself to auto battle, but you can set Kaylee to do so. Keep pressing that button, no problem. There we go. I'll set her to auto for the next battle so you can kind of see what they do. Here we go, I'll just fight this quick little slime monster. So I'll set myself to attack, and now I'm not going to do anything. Here we go. Kaylee's going to use Cure. She feels that I've lost too much health because I'm obviously a derp. But now she took damage, and I took any. any ooh. 
even more damage. So I'm just gonna take her off of that because I don't agree with what they choose. This is the only way that the game institutes like an easier hard mode. Like I said, if you don't feel comfortable controlling both characters, you can set it to auto. You do what you feel like is best. Oh, I missed. That's a mechanic I didn't explain. Um, weak little attacks. Evade lets you uh, dodge attacks every now and then. The players won't do it so much, but the monsters will. And I'm not sure if there's like an accuracy stat. Done deal. So you're just bulldozing right through these guys. And that's, that's an aspect that mm, people didn't like so much. That the combat becomes tedious the more that you do it. And I can agree to an extent, but I'm, you know, I just enjoy the music. Jamming out to this. It gets better later on. Like, the boss battles, they're super epic. Kaylee, stop missing! We don't, we can't afford that. Okay, technically, um, there's a way that you can get unlimited potions if you just exit this level. There's heal. That cures status effects. Um, you can exit this level and just keep jumping over where I found that first chest. Hold on. We gotta do something real quick. I'm gonna use a potion on both of us. Because we're about to do like our first mini boss. This orange tree here. This is the evil tree I was talking about. Bam! There's a minotaur behind it. Mwahaha! Surprise! Knocks her over. He poisoned me just as he did the, the, the trees. And she's like, help me fight. She's not actually poisoned. <laughs> this is the thing I was talking about with the music. Alright, now if I remember correctly, using a cure against a zombie enemy actually damages it. So let's see if I'm if I remember right. Oh defense down, that's not good. So she'll attack first. And I missed. How'd I miss with a cure spell? Good going. Okay. So we're not gonna do that. So, um, another cool thing that's gonna... Oh... That's not good. I messed up. I might die. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna die. There's no way I can take him out. He's gonna, like, critical me. It's happened before. Yep, see, there it goes. Okay. Give up. No. And then it'll just start you right back from the beginning. It's super forgiving. I... I like it, it's nice. Oh wait, you can also back up if you screw up, like I just did. So we're gonna go ahead and attack. See if I actually get the hit. Okay, I was wrong. This enemy in particular doesn't respond to that. It's gonna scream at her, and her defense is gonna go down. So, see if I can't cure her like that. For some reason, I'm slightly faster. Now he's gonna attack me, and I'm gonna be almost dead. I'm hoping I get to show you, um, she just has life, I hope I get to show you what happens, well I'm going to, I have to pass him sometime. When you take down enough of their health, the uh, enemy, you're gonna see them uh, change their avatar and it lets you know how much damage you've done to them, it's super nice. Something I wish more games actually showed. Kaylee's our main damage dealer. I died. Cool. Still not falling down yet. Okay, so we're just gonna bring me back to life with a life spell. Back in action. No problem. Still beating on me. How dare you. <laughs> Come on. More defense. Okay, that's not good. We gotta kill this guy fast. There he goes. He lost a horn. He's looking a little angry. It looks like he's been working out a little bit. Not really. He's kicking my butt, though. Normally I end up going through and like defeating a couple more slimes. Look, now he's ripped. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, attack him some more. Hopefully this will knock him out with one more good assault. There he goes, and he just disappears. There we go. Oh no! <laughs> Kaylee, what happened? I'll be okay as soon as I take Elixir. That's in the Sand Temple! <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get it. 
Will you? <laughs> then take this axe with you. And she just falls down. Okay, I'll be back. With weapons. That was lame. <laughs> okay, so check it out. Now you get to see this really cool gameplay mechanic come into play. I can just go around whacking all the trees. Mass deforestation. But what's cool about that is that there's some areas that you can only get to if you whack down some trees, and I'll show you where. Hop, hop. Look at him go. He jumps super high. We're gonna go straight around this guy. And see, that's another cool thing. You can bypass enemies and puzzles, heal potions, and then, and then, there we go. I can change back to the sword. Doesn't do anything, not yet anyway. And then I can come down here, grab this, and then just to show you what I'm talking about, I'm gonna exit. Level force, and all the enemies are back. Super cool, super intuitive, and as long as you balance out the monsters and how much XP they give and how much gold, you can technically dictate, you know, um, just how strong the player's supposed to be. If they take out all the monsters, cool. If they want to sit there and grind, be over leveled, that's cool too. It's up to the player. Um, so it kind of helps balance it out. Both the player and the developer can work on. Uh, you know, how the game, the flow, how it feels to be playing. Back on the world map. Let me save it real quick. Don't have Kaylee anymore. And there we go. So, hopefully you guys are looking forward to this. Hopefully you're learning a lot. If I'm moving too fast, let me know. I mean, like I said, it's a pretty dumbed down game. I mean, I mean that in a very literal sense, when it was developed, the uh, this game was in a response to RPGs not taking off in America at all. Um, and the people over in Japan wondered, is it because the concepts are too difficult to understand? So they released this, something really easy to pick up. And people sort of took some criticism on that. They're like, oh, are you calling us stupid? It's like, no, 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 no. No, they were just trying to get it to kick off, which it eventually did. And uh, I'll go over the whole Final Fantasy aspect later on, much later. Uh, this is just Mystic Quest, a little, you know, side game that they made. It is Final Fantasy. Um, though it may not look like it. So, uh, yeah, there we go. That is Mystic Quest. I'm actually going to complete this game, I'm going to do a whole series on it, and uh, go over all the aspects as we unlock, you know, uh, more more features, more weapons, you know, characters as the story develops. As much of a story as there is, of course. <laughs> Not much, but it's enough to keep it running, and it's, it had a huge impact on my childhood absolutely love this game to pieces. I played it a lot, super simple for me to pick up, and it's what sparked my love for RPGs nowadays. I play really complex ones, you know, the ones where you gotta sit there and min-max your skills, you know? So, um, now I'll go over more later, alright? But for now, Collectric is tuning out. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.